We're gonna head out in just a few minutes. You want to go ahead and get? I'm gonna I'm gonna dock in front of George probably. Uh, it's up to you guys. I'm gonna anchor by myself. I don't know if I trust another 30 ton boat rafted up to me. I mean, not trust the boat, but I mean the yeah you know, holding. So. And then Teresa's gonna follow us in the dinghy. So she can bring you and Brian back to get his boat. Okay? okay? Alright, I'll see ya. Teresa's gonna follow us. I'm going up top and check everything. Yes, it's on. He put it around the uh, aft deck so you get on it easier, I think. Okay. Right. Spencer ordered that trip for Raleigh and it was too small to get good trees. Oh. All right. Let's put the uh, Check one two check check. Hey honey. Check one two. Yeah. Check 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 one two. Where's Brian at? Try this on, make sure it's working. Sounds like it is. Can you hear me? Say it again. Can you hear me? Yeah. Check, check. Okay. Yeah, how you make them longer? I feel like it's not quite. This one. Yeah, that's fine. That's it. Yeah, he's pull it down. Yeah. Hey Lex, I'll go ahead and take these uh, power lines off. You want to kill it at the uh, at the switch there? fix when I get back, I guess.
rods with you or you're leaving them No, I'm going to leave them here. When I come back, I'm going to flip around the other way so he can wax the other side of the boat. All right. Let me check the generator while I'm waiting for him. I guess he's coming. Let me check the generator. I'm going to take the uh, smoke alarms out of the... Is there a smoke alarm uh, in the salon on the ceiling? If it is, take it down. I mean, in the aft deck. Because it'll go off. used it so long. Check the generator one more time. Just gin it along. Yeah, it's a nice breeze out today. Okay. Oh boy. Teresa on the dinghy by herself. Woo! It's a party now. Never coming back. She's never coming She's back. She's running away. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm trying to get a picture of her, but she's too far. So, uh, Lex, I'm going to let the, uh, the bow line off first, then the stern line, and do the spring last. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. You guys get that? Yeah. It's on. Just stick it on. Okay. Bow line first. Yeah. Stern second, and spring line last. You just let me know whenever you're ready. I'm ready. I'm going up top. You're going to go out and help. What, what do I need to do? You need to go out in the stern and take the lines. That's why. That's why I said I was. It's not doing. It's not doing anything. Oh, oh! You want to leave the lines on the dock? Uh, just the ones I have on the dock. The rest of them can come up. The ones I have out now can come up. The ones that are out on the dock. Stay, just yeah. These come up. Yeah. Come up. Yeah. Hey, honey, let me know uh, if I get close to the boat behind me. I can't, I don't have no visibility to my stern, okay? We shouldn't go anywhere because uh, the spring line told us in place. Brian, he should throw you those uh, spring lines next. Tell them to take the aft uh, spring line off first. Okay. Let me know when we're clear. All lines are off? No, it's working on the rear. Oh, okay. You're free now. All lines are off? Are lines in the boat? Correct. Double check. We see nothing? Okay. <laughs> like a prom off like a prom dress give her some extra reverse how am I looking on the port side Okay. I'm going to back off. I just want to make sure I don't hit the boat behind me. That's all. Yeah. Uh, you're, you're clear over there. Okay. Clear all around, actually. We'll blow the horn. 
That's fun. I'm going to uh, spin it around right here in this little okay. area here. Give a little. How am I looking in stern? Still okay in the stern? All right. I see expensive boat behind me. All right, how are we looking good? Okay. Yeah, I know. That's why I was trying to get ahead of it, get ahead of the wind. The shallow warmth is going off. I know it's not shallow here. <laughs> yeah, me too. Yep. And it's low tide. It's showing here uh, eight foot. That's it. Well, well, pl add two to that because my uh, thing is halfway through. Yeah. I don't know which way the current's going. Yeah, I'll just stay in the middle. She's running smooth, huh? Which bank right there, at the end of that dock, right over there. You can see Weemon's docked up there. Yeah, just past it. It's all the way up against the bulkhead. Yeah, where Freighter Fred is, all the way against the wall. Plenty of water there too. All right, once we get out of here and make my turn, I'm gonna take my headset off. It's showing um, eight foot, seven foot. Now it's back to 10. The boat's coming. I'll see the uh, pirate boat coming. Yeah, I don't think we'll be catching her either. Unless she stops. Yeah, there's that one right there is the uh, one that they, they charge to go on. Uh, okay. Oh yeah, I've seen that. It's like a party, they call it a party barge or something. Yeah, I've seen it. Hey, 
Hey, uh, Brian, can you go check and see if my stabilizers are on? If you go to my lower helm and look to the bottom right, like at hip level, you'll see the stabilizer panel. I think it's Version. I wish I had that on my Ford. Aspirations, aspirations, aspirations. This is Jolly Mon. Hey, how's everything look there? I just passed the casino boats, and uh, Doug and Sarah are in front of me, so they'll be arriving before I do. And Teresa is in the dinghy. Hopefully, she's not gotten lost yet. Well, she was supposed to follow us, but I think she probably caught up to Doug and Sarah, possibly. Okay, uh, I'll keep an eye out for all of you. Yeah, I think, uh, I think, I think I see Doug in front of me on the horizon, just about to make the turn at Calabash Creek. Uh, but um, we'll let him get situated, and then, um, and then I'll come in. All right, I'm going back to 16. today. And get past this boat, I'm going to kick her up to about 1800 RPMs. Stabilizers on, so it's taking all of that chop off. All right, we're up to 1800. See the temperatures rise a little bit. We got one, 16, 7. It's right where they should be. gaining them one knot by uh, going up 500 RPMs, not really worth it, but it's good for the motors once in a while.
temperature about 170, 175. 